You know, the other day I was thinking about this topic, leading the way for the next generation of Black women in STEM. And one of the topics that I think about related to that subject is, you know, a lack of role models and Naya and Carlotta. So, you know, what do you think, Naya? Well, as an aerospace engineering PhD student, I felt that it was so vital in my undergraduate years to actually see Black women with PhDs, and that influenced why I got into academia so much. And And as as a professor in electrical and computer engineering, I really only became a professor because I didn't have any role models to look like me as a student. And that mentor component is so important. We have to go seeding the pipeline to getting everyone through this obstacle course to get more numbers. Absolutely. I agree with both of you 100 percent. And that mentoring continues even in industry, where as a senior application engineer, that most definitely needs to continue. Hello, my name is Dr. Tracy Gilbert, and I'm a small business owner that contracts to the Department of Defense. This point is very important to me because artificial intelligence and robotics will touch every corner of the department in the way that we engineer, operate and sustain our open systems. So our technical expertise is needed and representation matters. Thank you. Um, I'm. Um, Shaitoy Palmer. I am studying aerospace engineering and graduation coming up. I soon want to be a propulsion engineer working to get rockets off the ground. And um, I'm definitely obsessed with rockets <laughs> from the time I was like five till up to like now. So, uh, every- so I think that there's other people in our community and various communities would like to help out with this important topic. So we hope this panel discussion brings together those communities so we can all help the next generation of Black women STEM. Yes. Absolutely. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. Thank you.